Hey, so I'm leaving my house to get my wisdom teeth taken out today. I'm really not looking forward to it. I slept so poorly. I feel terrible right now. Like, it's so bright out and I don't know what to wear. I'm scared I'm gonna like pee myself or something during the surgery. So I have jeans on. Um, so my teeth, my wisdom teeth, my third molars are impacted. So I have to get them surgically removed. I guess it's all a surgery if they weren't impacted, but they're sideways. So they're pushing my teeth forward instead of growing up. So I think they like blow them up in my mouth and pick out the pieces. I'm pretty sure that's right. And yeah. So I'm going to, uh, so it's like a, a learning college or learning hospital. So students are going to be working on my mouth. And I know that sounds terrifying, but it's kind of the only way I could afford the surgery with the way that my teeth are growing in. <clears throat> and they're supervised by whoever, someone in charge. But basically, I met them, and they seem really cool, which could be a bad thing. Maybe I want them to not be cool, but yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm getting ready for. And I've been trying to get my wisdom teeth out for a few years, and every place I go, I can't afford. So this place is $300 a tooth which should be something I can afford. Yeah, so it's $500 for, no, it's $300 for my two bottom teeth and then 80 for each of the top. And that seemed affordable. Like my wisdom teeth are bothering me every day. And um, since they're growing in sideways, they're affecting the way my bottom teeth are situated. And I, paid for my own braces because I used to have really gnarly teeth and they would give me headaches and I hated it so I don't want any of that money to go to waste as well oh my sunglasses on my head I hate the way that looks but yeah Hi, so it's been about four hours since the surgery and I got four wisdom teeth uh, removed. They were impacted and it was about an hour and a half of surgery. Right now I'm feeling a lot of pain. Um, it's really bad. My throat is in a lot of pain as well, I guess, just from being so exposed from the surgery. And I feel a really, uh, a lot of sensitivity in my nose, like, with smell. Um, my cheeks are swollen and my mouth is still bleeding a lot. It's a really significant taste, like, vegan aside, it tastes exactly like eggs. I don't know if it's the blood or the stitches or the coagulation, but it tastes like an egg McMuffin, without a doubt. Right now I'm in the bathtub. I'm hoping that the heat of the water will help me. Um, I'm on the painkiller that was prescribed, but it's not making much of a difference. There's a lot of tenderness and tightness in my mouth, and it's hard to swallow. Um, it's a lot of pain, and it's very difficult to deal with. 
Um, yeah, the, this is my update. Right now, John is going to the supermarket to get food. I was told I can't have anything hot. But honestly, I'm not really feeling up to eating anything anyway. But I told him yogurt, maybe some green beans. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel really terrible. It's very excruciating pain. Um, I'm happy that I got it done, but right now everything is swollen. My Even my throat is swollen. And I guess the original pain medication I was given during the surgery is completely worn off. I can feel my lip and feel my face, which is a good sign because one of the complications of the surgery is losing sensation in your face, so at least that didn't happen to me, but I'm still feeling very miserable and um, just really uncomfortable. In the other room, I'm watching every Harry Potter, but now I'm at a point where I want to kill Harry Potter. Um, but I'll keep you updated. What? Good morning. I feel like I didn't sleep at all. Um, I just wiped a lot of blood off my face. I guess at some point I was drooling, so that's really cool. Um, my mouth still hurts, um, but I would say it's not as bad. I really don't know though. I wish I could blow my nose. I feel really congested, but it's pretty painful. Anyway, so a part of the aftercare is 12 hours after the surgery. You are supposed to rinse with a little cup of water and sea salt, which is really reminiscent to um, healing my piercings and stretching and healing my philtrum. It should be the same kind of procedure. I'm supposed to do it four times a day, and I'm hoping it will bring some sort of relief because up until now I wasn't allowed to rinse or gargle or spit. It even said, do not spit, because it promotes bleeding. It's gross. Even though my mouth was full of blood, couldn't spit it out. Swallow it, that's better for you. It just looks like a cloudy mixture of salt water. <laughs> So here is the medicine I have to take. One is an antibiotic just to make sure um, there's no infection in my mouth or fight off any infection that might be present. And the other is a pain reliever fever reducer. Um, this is amoxicillin and this is just like something generic because I don't have insurance. But the other stuff I'm going to be taking while I'm healing is just a multivitamin. This is just generic um, from the grocery store. It doesn't have gelatin or fish oil in it, I think because it's so cheap, it's kind of left out. And then this is melatonin to help me sleep. Um, it's It says that it's natural, so I don't think it's going to interfere with any of the medicine I'm taking. I take it sometimes, so I know that it's probably just going to be okay. But you don't want to take multivitamins on an empty stomach, so I'm going to go downstairs and see what it is I might be able to stuff into my face painlessly. So it looks like John picked me up some uh, yogurt, some soy yogurt, and um, he got plain vanilla and blueberry. I'm going to avoid the blueberry right now, just in case it has like seeds in it, that I don't want those to get in my wounds, but I'm going to see how this goes. Yes, it's so good and cold and creamy. Oh, what 
a good choice. So I'm about to take another bath. Um, I feel really good recovering in the bathtub because it is really hard for me to breathe on my nose and throat. I think they were just like really exposed during the surgery and uh, I don't have a humidifier so I think the steam just from like the hot water is really beneficial to me. Um, today I feel like I don't have such a sensitivity to fragrance and smells so I'm going to be using one of my bath bombs. I bought this one specifically for my wisdom teeth getting out because it's supposed to be I guess for children who have a hard time falling asleep and need to calm down and I figure that sounds like me so he smells really good and I'm excited and after that I'm just going to take a hot rag and put it over my face to kind of help with any congestion and yeah in about an hour, I'll probably be due for another um, dose of my pain medication and antibiotic. So hopefully I can find something else to eat. Hey, so I'm waiting for the train. Um, today is the I think it's third day since surgery and I really just have to get out of the house. Can you see my cheeks are still super chubby and I'm pretty dizzy. Um, the painkillers that I was taking, I decided to stop taking because they were making me really lightheaded and I couldn't stand up. And we were making dinner last night and I had to keep sitting down. I don't know if that's just from the surgery or like blood loss or weakness, but I didn't take the painkillers. I'm just like on ibuprofen, just over the counter, under the counter stuff. I don't know. But I'm heading into the city. Hopefully I can do something cool or have something to drink, I don't know. I feel pretty lightheaded walking here, but maybe some of that medicine is still in my system. Oh yeah, and it's raining. Hey, so today I worked my- well, today was my first day back at work, and although my boss tried to send me home a couple of times, I worked the whole day and um, a couple times I had to sit down. I was definitely dizzy. I'm definitely like still not wearing makeup, still wearing a t-shirt, but um, John picked me up from work and we decided to like leave the city and go to this secret spot in New Jersey that we go to and if you're a local you can call me out and tell me that it's not that secret, but it's secret and special to us. We're at like this little roadside spot getting french fries and veggie burgers and we're gonna see how much I can eat and I guess spend time with nature. Um, I am back to eating, not normally, like I'm not getting a veggie burger, but we'll see. Um, I did feel a little nauseous in the car ride, and I'm not normally prone to getting car sick. But I'm excited that I worked today, and I feel like I'm talking a lot more normal. My boss did say that my eyes look like I'm sick, and my cheeks are still bleh, swollen, but let's see how this all works out. The fries are definitely nice and mushy. Hey, so today is my fifth day after I've had my wisdom teeth taken out. And today I feel a lot better. Yesterday I went to work and although there were times during the workday where my boss was really insistent on sending me home, I got through the day and today 
I am feeling much better. I brushed my teeth. I actually did a crest whitening. And although I didn't do it for the full time, I feel like I have been given an entirely new mouth. Uh, my wisdom teeth caused me a lot of pain and a lot of frustration. And they were always pushing on my teeth. And now I feel like it's even easier for me to smile because the teeth aren't there. I have a very small mouth, like my orthodontist told me I had a small mouth, every dentist I've ever had has told me I had a small mouth, and now I feel like there's just a lot more room and a lot more room for comfort. I mean, my the stitches are still in there and I can still see that my face is not the complete shape that it normally is, but I feel a lot better. I have to admit that it was really hard to deal with the first day. My best advice would to be would be have someone you're comfortable with pick you up and just go home and put on a movie that you can completely distract yourself with. I chose the Harry Potter series and once the first one ended, John just put the next one on and I just focused on it because the pain was really unbearable. The best thing I could do was just keep putting on ice pack, like after ice pack, and then I went into the tub and just let the warm water just like go over my face. And even thinking back, I can't even, I can remember that I was in pain, but I can't remember the physical pain because it was really excruciating. I mean, it's in your mouth, it's in your head, but my best advice is do it with somebody, have somebody there who can take care of you and make you tomato soup cold and yeah, just share it with you. But you know, it's going to be embarrassing. Uh, the second day I woke up, just drool everywhere and you know, he saw it and you're not really in a lot of control of your mouth. It's drooling and bleeding and it's gross. but. I'm really happy that I did it because my wisdom teeth caused me a lot of pain. Now I did have it done by student dentists over at Penn Dental, um, which is on Penn campus, Pennsylvania University. If you're familiar, you live in Philly, you live in Pennsylvania. Um, so I did have it done at an affordable rate, but it's also done by students. so. There were times when the girl leaned in and my chair flipped back because I guess she leaned on the mechanism that controls the chair. And there were times where, you know, there were questions that needed to be asked and like approval, but the, I guess the main surgeon walks down the hallway and checks on all the students during the procedure, so I don't remember what she looks like, but I do remember hearing her voice when she came in. And because of that, I do believe that like my throat and my nose was overexposed just from the surgery taking longer than it was supposed to. But at the same time, I am happy that I had the procedure done by students because I think they maybe worked harder because they're earning a grade and it's something that they, they love and they want to do. Whereas if I had it done by some practitioner who's been working for 20 years and is just over teeth, maybe he would have caused a mistake too. So even if it was done by the best of the best, I still think there's room for error. So I wasn't particularly more nervous because it was student dentists. I think that everything is healing fine and I'm super excited. Although my one complaint is they did tell me the healing procedure while I was in space, so I don't really know, but I think that I've done an okay job healing everything. Um, I don't smoke, so it wasn't really difficult for me to not do normal things. I don't really do much anyway. Although drinking coffee has been difficult for me because I haven't been able to drink any. I have been drinking orange pico tea that I only 
make like lukewarm or put like an ice cube in it and then I drank that which has a little bit of caffeine that has been helping me but other than that I miss coffee so bad and I have work today in an hour and I'm hoping maybe I'll have a sip or something but there is definitely still tenderness in my mouth I think I will take an ibuprofen to help just with today um, just because the medicine the I was prescribed Vicodin for the pain and although I guess it helped me it also had a negative effect on me where it would make me dizzy and lightheaded and it was hard for me to stand but I realized that's probably just how it helps you like with pain relief because it knocks you out you're asleep and honestly sleep has been like the best remedy because you're in a lot of pain and you just good night you do have really weird dreams though but um I hope this video has been helpful to people. I know I've seen a lot of healing videos and I haven't really come across a lot of wisdom teeth healing and I feel like it's a really common procedure and when I asked my peers for advice because I was scared, a lot of people didn't really have much experience to tell me because my wisdom teeth were impacted so they did have to be surgically removed. They were cut into four with a saw, and then the pieces were taken out. And, um, you know, that's kind of scary. So I hope this video is helpful to people. I hope it's not too drawn out. It is sort of like a healing diary, not more like a the first day, the second day, the third day, healed. But, yeah. Um, that's it. it. It hurt really bad. I took a bath. I drooled all over myself, uh, I went back to work, and then, yeah, so, thanks for tuning in, and sorry I haven't posted a, witty, a video for a few days, but I've been in space, but, yeah, thank you.